Wild type salmon. It's lunchtime at the San Francisco headquarters of Wild Type, and company founders Justin Kolbeck and Aria Elfenbein believe that what's on the menu is nothing short of the future of seafood. Thin slices of salmon, not caught in the open ocean or even farmed in captivity, but instead grown in their lab. For me, it was the sort of confluence of, okay, there's this potential technology that could address this really big problem that our society is facing. Very simply, where are we going to get enough meat and seafood for the next 3 billion people? The samples are sliced from the cutting edge of an emerging technology known as cell-cultured seafood. And for the wild-type founders, it's part of a larger mission. Kolbeck traces it back to his former career in the Foreign Service and stops like war-torn Afghanistan, where he remembers speaking with fathers who snuck miles across the border into Pakistan to bring back food for their families. It's those kind of stories that really stick with you. And you know, like as a dad, of course I would do the same thing to like feed my kids. Essentially, we have the cells that come out of the bioreactor. We toured their lab, which in its own classic startup story, was converted from a microbrewery. Now expanded from beer tanks to bioreactors, it helps grow the living cells derived from Pacific salmon. So this is our seed lab. Co-founder Aria Elfenbein says the process ultimately nurtures the cells into a form of biological salmon tissue that's mixed with plant-based ingredients. To appreciate just how complex that science is, you might want to journey a few blocks away to Elfenbein's former life as a researcher at San Francisco's Gladstone Institutes. That's where Nobel Prize winning scientists engineer breakthroughs, like turning lab created stem cells into beating heart cells. President Deepak Shravastava remembers the day Elfenbein came into his office to let him know he was leaving to turn similar techniques into lab grown salmon. And sitting down and saying, Deepak, I'm really grateful for the training I've gotten here, but I've always been uh, passionate about sustainable food for the planet. He said, you know, I really feel that this is something that you care about. And these kinds of decisions, like I can already feel, is something that you have a lot of conviction around. But that career-changing decision also came at a revolutionary time for the Earth's food supply, with Bay Area companies like Savor Foods introducing butter cultivated from CO2 and Berkeley's Upside Foods pioneering lab-grown meats and chicken. Still, Wild Type admits the next part of the journey could be convincing consumers to try lab-based seafood. To get started, the company has staged dinners, tastings, and partnerships with chefs. And actually what ended up happening was it wasn't a big deal. You know, the staff kind of introduced it as a third option beyond wild-caught and farm-raised. And a lot of people ordered it. In fact, we sold all of the fish that we had that first night. So we're here, here we have our Wild Type salmon lox. In the end, besides the taste, the long-term mission is sustainability, availability, and price. To create seafood that's affordable for everyone and a global solution that's far easier on our planet.